Hello everyone, my name is Ray. I'm a nurse practitioner who specializes in cardiology. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Uh, we like to talk about on this channel heart disease and how to prevent it and all things uh, related to the heart. So in this video, I just wanted to quickly go over uh, if you should take aspirin or not. So back in the day, we used to tell um, the majority of people basically to take a low dose aspirin, 81 milligrams to prevent a heart attack in the future. Well, the most recent guidelines actually, uh, especially if you're older, if you're over the age of 60, which ironically, your cardiovascular risk uh, goes up significantly after that age, but uh, you know, you're also at an increased risk for bleeding. So believe it or not, we actually do not recommend that everyone takes a low dose aspirin anymore like we used to. Now, if you've been told by either a cardiologist or a cardiology nurse practitioner, um, that you've seen either in the hospital or in the clinic and you've established that, you know, patient um, provider relationship, they've assessed your risk and they've, you know, if they're telling you that you should be on a low dose aspirin, I would certainly, you know, recommend listening to that advice. So who would benefit the most uh, from low dose aspirin? So definitely if you have been diagnosed with coronary artery disease, and what I mean by that is you've had some kind of imaging or some kind of testing that uh, sort of proves that you have coronary artery disease. The best case scenario that I can tell you about this is uh, either a heart catheterization, you know, that's the gold standard for checking for blockages in the arteries of the heart. That's where we go, you know, either in through the groin or through the wrist, you know, uh, do a catheter, shoot some dye in there, take some pictures with an x-ray machine. I'll go over what a, a heart catheterization is in a different video. but. Uh, if you've had a heart catheterization and they said that you had blockages, whether they were minor or, you know, certainly if you've had a stent, uh, you know, you need to uh, be on aspirin. And again, I'll make another video, you know, related to people that have had stents. But um, if you have any kind of blockages, a low dose aspirin is very important. Why? Because coronary artery disease is something we like to compare to a fire. So, you know, when somebody's having a heart attack, that fire, the flames are at its highest point. But, and we can extinguish the fire, so to speak, but there's always gonna be some embers down at the bottom and it can you know, go up in flames up again at any time. So uh, in the future to prevent a, another heart attack or a future heart attack, we do recommend that if you've been diagnosed or had any kind of coronary artery disease, that you should take a low dose aspirin in addition to a statin. And again, I'll, I'll do another video related to statins, but just wanna talk about low dose aspirin. Not everyone needs to take it. Uh, but if you're at increased risk um, uh, and you've been told by a cardiology team, then I would certainly recommend uh, taking that advice. I will see you in the next video. God bless.